with the last two years. On second and 11, Zappi. First official pass, and that's caught. Out past the sticks for a first down. Empty backfield. Quick throw, near side. Another one of his receivers, Malachi Corley, broke a couple of tackles and took it out to midfield. That's another first down. That's Whittington in the backfield with Zappi, who's set to pass. Looking for the deep shot, checks it down. Corley in space. Another Western Kentucky first down. Zappi looking downfield, pressure came. That was there all last week. Throws, and it's intercepted. Army with a takeaway. It's Markel Broughton, one of the four captains, back into Western Kentucky territory with the first big play of the day. Is a ball hawk. You'll see it from the left side of your screen. Watch number 20 come in. He reads it. Now he's right side of the screen. Watch him come in, reading Zappi's eye. Nope, I am jumping that route to Daywood Davis. That is what Markel Broughton does. That's why he's a captain as a junior. This is the second year in a row. He is Kate Barnard. Behind Anderson, who's back to pass early in the ball game. He's got an open receiver and a first down. Brandon Walters jitters his way down to the 21-yard line. Also have Cole Catterbone over there as a receiver. Standing this Buchanan barreling his way through the line. All of last season, all of last week. Anderson handoff, it's on the ground. Atkins right through the middle. And the turnover right back to Western Kentucky. Beat Darvin wrapped it up. And Western Kentucky gets it right back. Atkins just got the ball punched out. The ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. Ross for Army back to back weeks having takeaways on the opponent's opening drive. Zappi back to the air. They get it out to the edge. Enough space for Jared Stearns. Take it up to the 19. Three, five to eight yards. Andre Carter trying to get off the edge, but it's a wide open play for Stearns. Was streaking past Jabari Moore. If he doesn't fall down, he might take it to the house. Just jam him at the line of scrimmage, and Stearns went right by him. This time it's Zappi to the tight end, Joey Belgian, who's getting the start today because Josh Simon, their all conference tight end, is out for the year with a knee injury. They go, they need nine yards. Zappi back to the air, to the outside. It's broken up. Davis, the intended receiver, but Jabari Moore with that quick step to get in front. Forces a turnover on downs. The big place. Anderson keeps it himself, squeaks through. Time to take a shot if you want to. Instead, it's the pitch to get it to the outside. It is Walters on the carry, and he does pick up enough for the first down. In the play clock. Give it to Buchanan again. He pushes forward, and he does have an Army first down. Let it happen to know that they are willing to serve our country just does me really, really proud. And we're just going to move along here and send it back to Jason and for a touchdown. Army. For a touchdown as well. It looked like he was flying into outer space <laughs> like the astronauts. Tyrell Robinson with the explosive play, and Army takes the lead. 45 to go in the second quarter. Anderson's going to keep it himself. He puts his head down, and he's got another Army first down. It is Howard in motion. Anderson fakes it, looking open. downfield. He's got two to choose from. Wide open. Brahim Murphy for the second straight week on a receiving touchdown. This possession, and he cannot put the defense right back on the field. Zappi settles in the pocket. Wide open. It is Sturge racing past the secondary, and he races for a touchdown. 73 yards, just like that, it's the answer. You wonder if that touchdown pass now settles in this defense who was on its heels. Anderson with the pitch. That is Walters out in space, has a first down, and Walters takes it out to the 40-yard line. Inside to Robinson, who switches speeds. He is so shifty. Inside the 45-yard line. On fourth and seven. Now he is back to pass. He does have an open receiver. Catterbone does have the first down. Army gets the ball to start the second half as well. And hand off to Atkins again. He picks his way through the middle. Again, it is Darius Ship on the stop. Right, you do get that feeling of inevitability, especially when 33 is going to get it. On an eight and a half minute drive, it is Buchanan over the top, and it's an Army touchdown. Ed Cohen and Tina Servasio yeah. had here on CBS Sports Network between UConn and Holy Cross. Zappi.
got the pressure, races out of the pocket, had enough time, and again it is Jared Stearns. He takes it out near midfield. Zoom. Zone is not good if you're going to take that long to get there. Here comes Carter, though. Got around for a sack, three last week, and Andre Carter forces the seven-yard loss. Kentucky, that last one went for 73. Zappi settles back, rockets and fires, and it's an open receiver. Wide open, Craig Burt Jr., the 6'4 junior from Columbus, Ohio, and it's a first down. Yeah. Zappi staring at the end zone. He has all day to throw. Takes off up the middle, pointing his way across the line, heading to the pylon. Touchdown, oh, Bailey Zappi. The leading rusher who got the first two drives last week. Watching from the sideline. This time they get it to the outside. It is Robinson in space. Not as big as I think they'd like, but enough for a first down. Why they play him in case there's an opportunity like this. Anderson kept it into space. Christian Anderson, the right decision. Kincaid wrestled him to the turf. They're picking up where they left off. Tough snap. Anderson caught it. Robinson again got a block from Walters. Robinson inside the 10. Knocked down at the three. Kids behind Anderson from the three. He gets the handoff. Leads forward. Touchdown, Army. Capping off a 10-play drive that goes more than six minutes with a three-yard score. And they're back in front, 27-14. But Belgian is a fullback, and they throw it out to Jared Stearns. Beautiful play design for a first down. We've seen Josh Stearns today, but he averaged more than 30 yards a catch. That's a beautiful ball and a huge hit. Malachi Corley did everything he could to hang on to it on the stick from Broughton. Take another look at it. 20, middle of your screen, head out of it. Puts the shoulder right in the chest. Man, that is well done. And that really is an example of what you can do. You can still deliver a vicious blow on if they don't get any pressure on it. Army got a fourth down stop in the first half. Zappi with pressure, trying to get in the end zone. Incomplete! He tried to force it in, but Cedric Cunningham all over Jared Stearns, and it's a turnover on downs again. There's four varsity letters playing college football. Buchanan cursed through the middle. Have social distancing in, in Mikey Stadium last year. That is a different story this year. As Robinson gets the edge, has another first down in the lead. They're in the opening minute on a third and two for Christian Anderson. And like they have done so many times today, just hand it off to Jacoby Buchanan. Field goal range, would, would, which would make it a three-score game. Anderson comes back on himself, has some space inside the 15, and he picks up the first down. So on a third and 12, Christian Anderson takes it for 15 and a first down. It looks like this Black Knights team might be even better than last year's nine-win team. That's the handoff to Whittington. McDuffie hit him around the shoulders, but they went right the spot where Cockrell left the field. It was Duran with the hands to the face, so which is why they're starting left tackle can stay on the field. Too much time. Again, the offensive line has done a good job today. And Zappi found a wide open receiver in the corner. Mitchell Tinsley was hanging out in the end zone, just waiting for the football. And that's a brilliant play by Zappi for 21 yards in the score. Two for two today. Ooh, maybe a hard count here? That's exactly what you said, and Pitts knew it. He jumped through the middle of the line in the transfer from Cincinnati with the biggest defensive play today for Western Kentucky. Army after leaving a couple of drives. This is Zappi on the high snap, settles into a throw. What a grab! And so they'll go quickly, taking a shot down the field, working on Morris, it's Tinsley again. Mitchell Tinsley has been huge in the fourth quarter, had a touchdown grab, and he's got the Hilltoppers inside the red zone. There must be an injury to McDuffie, because McDuffie is out of the game, and Morris is in there, and that's back-to-back -back plays where they have attacked Morris. Down on the intentional grounding. Pressure comes, he stands in the pocket. Stearns breaks a tackle. 
And we got a ball game with 4.58 to go. Old tally as well, which would also make it a two possession game. They do go to the air. But nobody's out there for Anderson to take off. Gets himself, gets down inbounds. Barnard in usually means a quarterback run. Now puts the handoff to Barnard, and Western Kentucky does get the stop. The snapper, Brooks Jose the holder. Good snap, good hold. The kick from Tally is up, and that is good. Don't let him go out of bounds. Happy comes back over the middle. That's caught. Clock winds inside of 100 seconds. Zappi, again, time to scan the field, and he does get him out of bounds. Zappi had his running back release. Now he finds his receiver back across the field. It's Thomas one more time. His go-to receiver when they needed him most. Different set of receivers on the field right now. That's an open man. Zappi calls for the ball. Cofield does have a wide open path to the end zone. So a lot of time came off on that play in bounds, but Western Kentucky scores with 21 seconds to go. Hunston fakes one way again, kicks it right up the middle. They go away from Barton. It's down the field. It's still loose. And Army says it has it. And the Black Knights do come away with it. Kicks, gets one knee. Western Kentucky out of timeouts. And Ross, it's a lot tighter than it looked like it would be in the fourth. But it is an Army victory. 38-35, and for the first time in four tries, Black Knights get a victory over Western Kentucky.